Wait a minute. Let's let's get this from out. Boogaloo the melodies are are descended from Negro religious music, so it is it has roots in uh, Negro country music, but not so much blues roots. Like Ray Charles, the, the first, some of the first ones have heavily gospel influence. Well, how, how about the white audience? Where do you think they're headed, Mom? Depends on what section of the country you're in. Uh, you get down south, they're boogalooing along with, you know, the, the spades. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to the west coast, which is a completely different thing. They're into cream, blue cheer, uh, canned heat, uh, Jefferson Airplane, Moby Grape. Uh, you go to, to Cleveland, they're into uh, Simple Simon Says and, and uh, La La La, I Love You, you know, that, that type of thing. Depends on where you're at and what blues section project. of the country. Uh, yeah, the Blues Project are popular in, in the Cleveland, uh, oh, in the Ohio area. And uh, it's it, there's not one thing happening all over the country. I mean, if you start in the West Coast and go East, you'll find in every state you go that it's going to be different. But there's something else happening. Mm -hmm. uh, there are things that are happening all over. Like when we went to Virginia, the first, well, the only time we went to Virginia, the Jefferson Airplane was a big group at that time. They were they were getting close to being one of one of America's largest, biggest groups, and uh, you never heard of them in Virginia Beach. Mm. I mean, that that wasn't it at all. I mean, nobody wanted to hear it. The number one record in Virginia was Funky Broadway by Wilson Pickett. Well, we left California. That record, well, as a matter of fact, that record never got in the, the top forty at all oh, in I California. Didn't yeah, in California, it, it didn't. And uh, so yeah, you well, can't really say where people are at because it all depends on where you're at. Now, Nick said that the spade stations in New York are playing more blues. Well, the East Coast is into a dance game with the West Coast. Right, that's not right. at all. That, that's just, yeah. Yeah. The East Coast is into a dance Now, the West Coast used to be into a dancing scene not too long ago, right? Yeah, yeah, they, more of a yeah there's a lot more of a listening scene in the West Coast now. They go to huh. see the band. Right. Listen, the wait, well, watch no, listen. Do you think it's just that the East Coast is maybe a year behind the West Coast? I think so. I do, yeah. 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 This seems now to I would be say great. a year, I'd say... Ten years? No, no. Eighteen months. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of colored vocal groups in the East making hit records that are never hits in L.A. That's true. They don't bring yeah. the flying well, time. Now, now, wait a minute. Now, has that got anything to do with distribution? No, not All those records that are being market. sold in New York are, are you, we have them in LA. There's a market for that. There's just a market. Yeah. See? Wait a minute, Henry? I'm just saying the dance music is the difference. Mm -hmm. Like I used to play dance music every night, all night. But now, I, you know, I don't, I don't worry about playing dance music. I just play. Uh, let's see, I guess it's inevitable, and I did a uh, review on you guys for the first record. Uh, I went through comparing you to various other white blues bands. I'm just wondering uh, where you guys see yourself in relation to other white blues bands. Not so much in terms of, well, we're better than them or they're better than us, but uh, uh, where, where the different groups are heading musically. Uh where they're heading, it's hard to say where they're heading. Or where they're at. Or where they're at. Uh, oh man, what are you talking about? Wait a minute, let's, let's, let's get this straight. Well, what did you say? Butterfield used to use amplified harp and featured amplified guitar. Wilson. Which is she usually identified with Chicago. Now he's using horn section and acoustic harmonica, which is associated with Memphis. Wait. You ever heard a Buddy Guy record without horns? No, I'm saying acoustic harmonica. Forget acoustic harmonica. Oh, I mean, that's on the record. That's what we've done. But <laughs> I've never There's known... Also, they do a lot, uh, two or three tunes that were originally done on the records on that. On that, on that that's that method. Duke Records not is not Memphis. Duke Records is Texas. Well, I don't know really what to say. Okay, well, <laughs> let, let, let's not get involved in a theological discussion. How about uh, somebody like Siegel Schwal? Siegel Schwal is just playing blues. That's all they're doing, and the, and they're they're country oriented to a sense. They they do a mandolin. Okay, well, you're you're you're, you're straight blues, and you're country oriented. Yet the two groups are very much different. Where do you think the differences are? At least they're different in the sound they produce. There's no, I, there's no Mississippi influence in the Siegel Schwab band at all. 
Their influence is strictly a city influence. Uh, they're into the individuals. They're good. I'll say up front, they're a good band. I mean, you know, it's not. I'm not, I'm not putting the band down. Well, they're a real good band. Uh, they're not as free as we are. I mean, they stay pretty. Well, they they stay pretty down. You know, pretty much down to a. Well, I want to say you see the, the equipment they use. You know, the equipment they use. They use they're, not, they're not using any uh, anything with power, like you know, to be to play free. So. That's the whole thing right there. Well, why is power the key to playing free? Well, I don't it's see that. It's louder, it, it, it roars more, you know, it jumps, 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 well, jumps octaves, well, all kinds of things. Whole different technique. Another yeah. important feature is that they, the drone has not reached that. <coughs> and that's, uh, see, that's, that's a weird thing. That's how you can tie the very beginning to the very it's free, the is because the drone <laughs> is a characteristic of, of a lot of early Mississippi and Texas blues. And so you can use a background of that nature, like on the boogie, which is old, old, and then do anything over it using blue notes, and then it's very freedom. So you can tie both ends together that way. But the uh, Siegel Schwal and Butterfield were, haven't been reached by the drone, well, so Siegel there's a difference Schwal. of approach there. Siegel Schwal is more of a visual type thing, you know, than, to me, than, 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 a, than a listening type thing. The cat really does his thing, you know, the harmonica plays, you know, really gets on his knees. Plays good. Yeah, it plays good, but I mean, it's more like it's more like a really visual thing. You know, the cat's up there really just getting on. You know, as far as like you know, the white junior yeah. well. Right. Yeah. Larry and Henry. Let's see. Uh, what other bands are there? On the uh, the band last night. Uh, the Jay Giles Blues Band, local. I think they're r really good. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to do this too. Sure. Across the country. Yeah. Very recommended. Stock, stock blues. Ah. Well, the Electric Flag is not a blues band. In print, everywhere, the Electric Flag is billed as a blues band, and they are not a blues band. Why? Are they because they don't play blues. That's a damn good point. I haven't heard them. Before. They, they can, they can. Now, now, now. Let me put it this way. Yeah, dear Mike Bloomfield, when you're reading this, uh, they're very capable, of, capable of playing blues, but they're not. And they're 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 boogalooing, and they're you know cause that's what they are. They're playing R and B, uh, and so I don't think they can be included in a dis discussion of blues bands uh, because they just don't play blues. In Monterey, they played one blues. They played Angels in Houston. Buddy Miles sang it. It was really fine, but uh, the rest of it was was, was all uh, was all R and B. That's I don't know. I always you know Mike always impressed me as being really a blues cat, and uh, I was really ready at Monterey to hear a new great blues band, and it didn't happen. I heard a great band, you know, a great R and B band, but I didn't hear a blues band. Uh, there's a lot of blues bands popping up in Detroit. There's one called the Amboy Dukes. I haven't heard them live yet. Uh, I've heard their record. Uh, I guess it's I'd rather hear their record than than Judy Collins. Taj Mahal. Ta Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal, yes. A highly recommended uh, young group, blues Columbia. group, right? right. That that would be recommended as one of the better young blues groups. No, Taj is very country-oriented. Yeah, I think it's one of the best country blues. Actually, there, there are very few country-oriented bands. Let's see, there's you guys and there's Taj, and that's the only one I would really call Taj country. Really yeah. What, why do you think this is the case? Why do you think uh, most of the white blues bands are city-oriented rather than country? Simple. They've never heard country blues. Where do you hear country blues? On reissue records. Well, you know, like the average person when he's going through the blues bin in the local record shop sees all these Belzona albums and the Origin albums and the yes, blues the classic album. albums. Then he sees the best of Money Waters and the best of Little Walter. And that's where he's going. He's going to be that he knows. He's heard of Muddy Waters. He's never heard of Charlie Patton. He's never heard of Henry Thomas. He's never heard of Willie Brown. And uh, the only way a person like that's going to buy an album like that is if they happen to drop over to a friend's house that has one of those albums. And he hears it and goes, yeah, that's really good. And then he goes down to the record shop and he buys the record. But when you're going through that blues bin and you really don't know much about it, you know you like blues and you want to hear some blues and you want to own a blues album, uh, you're not going to buy one of those Origins or Belzona albums. You're going to buy one of those chess albums. Mm. That's or you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, people just don't hear. It. You don't hear it on the radio.